Welcome to Cigar Adventures. Welcome back to another bundle package. Stay with us. How's everybody doing? Everybody doing great? Been a little bit since I posted a video. I've had some things happen. Um, one being my cat got severely ill. Uh, and I had to take care of her. Uh, Coming to you this morning with uh, Upman H. Upman Lovers Edition number six. This has a, a variety of different cigars in here. Uh, I don't really, it doesn't say anything about the fillers. It'll be, I'll do an individual search on what the fillers are and the wrappers. And I'll probably do that once I do the reviews. On here, I just want to see what we got. Uh, I got this off of jrcigars.com. Uh, it's the Lovers Edition 6. It was $22.95. So it wasn't too bad. Six cigars. I've had a couple ones before. I'm not sure that I've had these ovens before. I've had uh, one with a green wrapper. I can't remember the name of that one. Uh, from Connecticut, mm, some Maduras. I don't know, I think most of these might just be Maduras. Uh, but we will definitely get into these eventually. Uh, they look really good. And you know me, uh, I'm the bundle guy. The bundle guy. But also, I uh, purchased something that I've never purchased before. This is called the Bering Casino. I don't know how that's going to turn out on the y'all. It's the Bering Casino. Uh, it's the Connecticut uh, Reserves. It's a 7.12 by 44. Uh, it's, very, it's very long, but when, when I opened them up this morning, I, check this out. I mean, isn't that just wonderful? I mean, look at the, the packaging. That's all glass tubes. I mean, there's 20 in here. Look how long that is. I mean, that's that's the one you want to smoke when you're sitting at the casinos playing. That way, you ain't got to relight and relight and relight. But this is um, the wrapper is a Connecticut shade. Uh, the binder is Honduras, and the fillers are Dominican Republic, Honduras, Mexico, and Nick. Aragua. That's a hard word to say. Uh, it's a box of 20 and I paid $59.70 for this box of 20. And it's corked. I'm going to open this up. You pull this little tab, I'm assuming, with the perforated line right there. Okay, and then you take the wrapper off. And then it has a cork. And two, just, just so you know, don't throw these glass cases away because they make good cigar holders. To get you some, I mean, this is, hear that? That's glass, that's not plastic. All right, straight out of the tube. Hear that? We've got a fresh grass cut smell. Kind of reminds me of my childhood for some reason. That looks pretty good. The foot. Nice. No, it's, it's kind of it's kind of slender still in. Uh, with it being the, uh, the 44, I usually smoke a 50 or a 52 or 54. Uh, A little sour taste a little bit maybe? I don't know, it's weird. Nice draw. Very nice draw. It is a really loose draw. Lighter today. <coughs> For some reason my matches have disappeared. 
heat this up. I want a good burn. I don't want it to go out on me. Okay. A lot of smoke, which is good for me. I like that. Um, it's a little bland. I mean, it's not a bad taste. Kind of got a cigarette-y taste to it to me. I mean, it smells good. Wow. It's not too bad. This is good. I mean, it's one that you can sit around with for a while, because that's going to take you a while to smoke that. That's probably an hour and a half smoke. If you smoke it like a regular cigar, not, not like a cigarette. Love the smoke. That is awesome. You know what I do get a taste of? And, and it's weird, but if you remember shooting fireworks and the after smell of fireworks, Kind of get a taste like that. It could just be me. Uh, I would suggest you try it for yourself. Uh, they spent, apparently, it looks like, they spent more on the packaging than what the actual cigar value is. Uh, because they make it look I mean, look at this. They make it look so enticing. If you walk into a cigar store and you're just looking for something new, and you see that, what are you? What are your thoughts? I mean, you're like, man, that looks good. That's got to be a good cigar, you know? I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad cigar. I'm just saying I've had better. I mean, you're talking fifty-nine dollars and seventy cents for twenty. Again, it's a good uh, good cigar to have, you know, if you have people over. And you can really, they ain't got to know what it costs, right? Yeah, yeah, you want a cigar? Well, they don't think that's top dollar. Looks good. Now, if there are cigar smokers and they smoke it, they're going, oh, this is not, not the best. But if you're a daily smoke, this is, uh, this ain't too bad. Like I said, I've had worse. I've had some that burn like paper and just burn up in no time. This is, uh, like I said, it's just a bland cigar. It doesn't really have any flavors as far as, you know, nutmeg or coffee or, you know, whatever, caramel. I've heard people talk about caramel and chocolate. I don't have that, but it's nothing like that. <clears throat> Yes, uh, I would suggest you try one. You can't beat it for the price. Uh, it's the casino, the Varian Casino. Uh, seven and a, seven point one by forty four, and uh, it said seven point one by forty four, but the box that I got says seven point five by forty two. No, I'm sorry, seven and one third by 42. And I, I apologize, it's 15, it's not 20. I was thinking it was 20 when I ordered it. But there's three layers of five and three layers of these. So, it says handmade and imported premium cigars. It's all long fillers, guaranteed fresh.
that's what the top looks like. So, yeah, uh, it's not too bad. I mean, you can get a cedar box, a good uh, cigar holder, which I've had several of these around over here. Uh, a lot of people collect those. A lot of people buy them from you too. Uh, you can sell those for like ten dollars a piece, and almost pay for cigars. Still nothing different. Um, but I do like it. Well, I hope you enjoy this. Uh, I'm going to smoke this down a little bit and I'll get back with you. Well, we're back. Uh, you can see Ashley's fell off, so I went ahead and dumped them off. Uh, but you know, the smoke is still great. It's putting off a lot of smoke, and that's just something that you know a cigar smoker likes. It's, or at least for me, it's good smoke. You know, it's still doing that. Uh, as far as flavors, and, uh, this this mild coffee mild coffee and just um, I'd say you work cheap but I, I'm gonna again I'm gonna say it's like it's just cheap tobacco and it's not a bad flavor whatsoever it's not it's just uh, if you've smoked some good cigars then you know that when you try this you know it's going to be on the cheaper side uh, but again like I, I highly strongly suggest that you try one for yourself uh, I don't know what they are individually it can't be much it's 50, 60 bucks for a 15 so $3 a piece does that sound right something like that I don't know uh, my math skills ain't too good but I mean you know it's something to you know to have on your desktop or in your man cave or whatever when you have some, some friends and your buddies coming over and if your buddies coming over and you're drinking your beer or your whiskeys or whatever and you're picking and grinning you know they're they're not going to complain when you hand them this because if they're drinking or whatever you know it's uh it'll be a good cigar for them so I would suggest you get a box and just you know hang on to them. You know if you you got uh, some little expensive cigars and you don't want to give them out to your buddies, I mean, you whoop this out right here and and say, hey, I'm gonna get you a good cigar, and they see how it's packaged. Maybe you can fool them that it's a high dollar cigar. I'm just not a fan. It burns good. See that. It burns good. It's a little catawampus a little bit, but you know, that's okay. It don't bother me. I don't have any flake in the, the wrapper or nothing like that, which is good. A lot of the, a lot of the ones is, you know, come in kind of dry. Uh, here in my house, we keep it cold. Uh, I'm talking 63, 64 on the AC, and I uh, don't have one available. But you have to buy these packages, these packets. To keep your uh, cigars fresh, and you know what I'm talking about. Uh, well, I thought I had a brand new pack of them somewhere, but I guess not. But that's okay. They sell them at your local cigar shops. Uh, they're not expensive. Um, I have a hard time keeping my humidity up in my uh, humidors, so I have to really, really, really suck them down with some some deionized water uh, to keep the moisture. At around 69 to 71 percent it's what I like it keeps your cigars from flaking you get a cigar you know you ever had a cigar and you start smoking it and it's like oh it's good and all of a sudden your wrapper starts kind of flicking off it's because it's dry you know you gotta you gotta keep them moist a little bit uh, to keep that humidity in that tobacco it's just like anything else it is it sits out in the sun and it dries it out 
That's what's going to happen. It's going to ruin your cigars. And you don't want to ruin your high dollar cigars by no means. You pay hard earned money that you work hard for for your cigars. So you want to protect them and keep them in a very good environment. And if that means putting a humidifier in your in your man cave to keep it that way, then that's what you do. I mean, if you're like me, I work hard for my money. And I work hard, you know, and I'm not going to waste, <laughs> lose my cigars due to a stupid error on my part. So, I suggest you go get one, two, a box. I got mine off of JR.com, and I, I'm, not, I'm no lot affiliated with JR.com. I know I mention them a lot. This is my go-to place. I'm a member. I get free shipping uh, on all of my products that I buy from them, and uh, I think it's great. I've ordered from Cigar.com, and I've ordered uh, most of my stuff from JR.com, and then I go to the cigar shop, too. So, uh, yeah. So, y'all have a wonderful day, a wonderful blessed day. It's early in the morning here. Uh, I'm smoking a, a nice cigar. Uh, it's my day off and I'm just enjoying it. So I hope you have a blessed day because it's a great day to be in America. Could always be worse. Could be six to under. Have a blessed day. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe.